Hi, this is Christine Kenyon with Alpha Omega Soaps, and today I am going to make uh, cream soap. It's been forever since I posted a video. So um, I, I had some cream soap that I made into uh, some like shower soap, really creamy, marsh like marshmallow fluff. It was wonderful, very moisturizing, a really nice feel. So I need to, I used that all up, so I need to make some more. And I will post the recipe for the soap um, right now. But I went ahead and this is the stearic acid with the oils, coconut oil, olive oil, and castor oil. It takes a while to, to um, melt it. The stearic acid is, takes, takes a long time. And then I, this is my lye. I combined it with um, some sea salt, sugar, and goat milk. So it looks like that. I'm going to strain it when I put it in the lye wa the oil mixture. Um, this is a semi cold. I'm going to try a cold process method. I had to melt the stearic acid, but I'm not going to cook this and see how it does. I'm hoping it'll work out. It'll probably take longer to saponify, and but um, you know it's it's. So I'm just going to going to just see and. And uh, you can come along with me and see how it goes. So I'm going to combine the lye mixture into the oils and then stick blend this. Well, this is like a... Very thick. So now I'm going to add the um, glycerin. This has a lot of stearic acid. Uh, I don't use palm oil, just for different reasons. And but stearic acid is <laughs> derived from palm. Uh, but to make cream soap, this recipe you have to have high stearic acid. So you can make, you can either make it with uh, oils and butters. In the, that are high in stearic acid or just use stearic acid. Okay, I'm going to leave this alone for and check up on it every hour and I'll I'll come back and let you know how it goes. So um so I'm gonna leave it like this. I'll be right back. Don't go away. Okay, so this is an hour later and huh, it's like this. And it's warm, very warm. I was, it was hotter before. It's still warm, not as warm as before, but. Well, I'm glad to see that it's not separate. Well, it is, it does look like it's separating a little. So I'm going to leave this for another hour and come back to it. Okay, so I'll be back in another hour or so and let you know how it's going. Don't go away. And this is how it looks a day later. Now it's got some, see it's got some lumps and stuff, but I'm sure I'm going to probably use the uh, mixer, hand mixer, to, to get rid of the lumps and I'm going to, then I'll let it rot. I don't like that word. <laughs> Um, for a couple weeks, but the pH is already down to nine, and it's just, and the lather is so luscious. I haven't uh, super fed, super creamed it yet. I plan to super cream it with about one and a half ounces of, let me see, stearic acid and one ounce of glycerin, or it's the other way around. Um, so I'm very happy. It, this was so effortless, much different from. The other, this is the same recipe I used before when I did the hot process method, and it, it was, the total cook time was five hours. So uh, this was six minutes of stick blending total, and then I'll do some hand mixing, but that's just to, 
to get rid of the lumps. So anyway, I thought you'd just like to know that and, um, and happy soaping. If you have any questions, please post them below. Uh, any feedback, any suggestions, any whatever, <laughs> I welcome them. And uh, thanks for watching, and God bless, and have a great day. Bye-bye.